So in part two of this series, I thought I had everything figured out. I swapped the TNY-276 for a new TNY-277 and everything started working. And I thought, hey, problem fixed. I need a higher power rated chip for the, uh, from the series to make it work with this uh, transformer. But viewers uh, jumped in with comments and suggested that couldn't have been the problem and sometimes you get faulty chips. The uh, TNY-276 should have worked as I thought initially before starting the project and selecting this particular IC. So I decided to investigate this further and uh, soldered a socket on the PCB so that I could easily swap the chips. I took a new TNY-276, installed it on the PCB and to my surprise the circuit was working just fine, same as with the TNY-277 chip. And then I realized what had happened. I had a faulty chip. I might have, uh, it might have been like this from the factory supplier or it might have got damaged in my circuit. That I can't easily find out, but I did test uh, the remaining uh, 4 out of 5 chips from, from the batch I ordered and they're all working just fine. So this problem was a faulty chip from the start and it makes sense now, having a wrong inductance value on the transformer would have been a problem for all the series because they all work at the same frequency and we have already explained that the uh, windings start points only need to oppose each other, it doesn't matter which way they go. So I'm quite happy this was finally explained and I got to the root cause of the problem and a big thanks goes out to all my viewers, especially the ones that commented on this series of videos. Your comments really helped a lot. I think the next step is to design a more compact PCB. Actually, I would like to see how small I can get this converter on a professionally made PCB and still keep the required clearances, because this was a prototype with nice clearances between all the parts, nice big through-hole parts, and this is all great when prototyping, but for something you would use in production, you would want to switch to a more compact design, possibly using surface mount components where, uh, where possible, because those are way cheaper. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this.